Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series. Today's question is, can I use VS Code or Business Application Studio for ABAP development? Now, as you know, truly, honestly, deeply, SAP is considering the Business Application Studio as the next generation tool and also considering it as a multi-cloud development tool. Right now, in the Business Application Studio, you can develop Node.js, Capm-based and Java-based applications. Also, of course, the SAP UI5 and native HANA. But we as a developer community, since quite a long time now, waiting for ABAP development to be enabled in Business Application Studio. And that's exactly when the Business Application Studio can be considered as a multi-cloud development tool. Because then I can develop and manage all my different variety of source codes using BAS. However, we have VS Code, which is a very similar look and feel of Business Application Studio in local system. I can still go and enable a third party extension to develop a web code. So in this video, we will review how to set up our local development environment. Uh, maybe you would not need it truly today because you are anyway happy with a web on a web development tool on Eclipse or SAP GUI. But going forward as a true multi-cloud uh, development environment, BAS would enable perhaps a BAP and that would bring a, a gift to the development community. So let's get started and see how can we enable the visual local VS Code Studio to build a BAP code or basically just write and read a BAP code. So for that, I will have to switch back to my local environment, which is local VS Code. And here there is already a third party extension, which I luckily found it while I was looking into the ABAP. So if you search here ABAP, you will find an extension called ABAP Remote File System. So basically it's not very powerful. You really cannot do things which you can do in ADT, like doing code inspector checks, uh, running unit tests, running ABAP programs, uh, viewing the data preview in CDS, uh, checking dependencies, perhaps executing program, executing unit test, uh, about profiler, a lot of features which you have seen in ADT are not available. But and another thing is it's not developed by SAP. So however, we can see how can we use it at least to connect. And this would perhaps give you a little idea of what would a future would look like uh, if somehow SAP can can uh, can enable the ABAP development in BAS itself. So I will go there and now install this ABAP remote system file. And you see it's installing. Yes. And you can see, uh, read the document here uh, to find out how you can perform the connection to your ABAP system. Now, as a prerequisite is that in your ABAP system, uh, you should have a ADD service activated in SICF, which I think is already active because you're already using the ABAP on Eclipse for the development. So now what we need is to configure our connection to our BUP system and you can add actually multiple connections also to your system using this plugin. So now the plugin is installed in my system and what I need to do is to go to the details and perhaps read this document and maybe what I want to do is just configure my connection. So I click on settings and I say extension settings and you can just say edit settings.json file. So I will go back and put my connection name. So let's say CFN is my three digit system ID. And then I am going to do control space and you can see all the different properties which you can use to connect. So first property which you would need is a, a system URL to which you will be connecting. And here this could be an HTTPS if you already have a secure certificate or you can also use HTTP. So I will just where do I get this information? So this information already is available in SMICM transaction code. So when you go to your ABAP server, you can actually go ahead and find this information in SMICM. So let me just quickly connect to my ABAP system and I go to transaction code SMICM. And then I can find the details and you can see here is the information which you can grab. So it's stcfin.st.com 8021 is the port for HTTP connection. So stcfinst.com and 8021 is the 
the address now is a subsequent step we will also add more properties so comma and I'll say my client I want to connect client 800 it's my demo tenant then I would put language is English default then I will go username so I'll put my username so I'll put my developer user there and then I put password so I'll put my password yes this is my password and then I will put the allow self sign to false so this is the setting I have added now to do the connection to my system and I'll just save this the moment I save now watch out you've got a beautiful icon on the right side maybe I'll just change my pen color to highlight that so you will see on the right side a icon which looks like ABAP and once you click on that icon you will be able to see all the transports so let me switch to this ABAP icon and here right now it is not showing me anything no problem I just have to quickly stop and start my VS code quickly so let me just pause my screen here and I'm going to quickly restart my VS code so that my system can make a connection to the ABAP system so after system restart uh, I will go to view command palette and I will search here connect to my ABAP system and once I do that I can see my icon which is active and you also observe that in your workspace you've got a system entry here and if I expand that entry I should be able to see my local objects of course uh, for my current user wow and then I can just go back and see my complete ABAP uh, object hierarchy all my core data services data dictionary objects yeah perhaps it's not so mature because if you open your data element it doesn't open in a graphical view rather it opens more of an XML XML definition of that object but yeah this is just a quick start to look at how does the future would perhaps look like now I can really go some nice stuff with respect to my CDS here and I can see my CDS code and I can also check it so let me try to develop a simple ABAP program yeah so I'm going to go my local object a new ABAP object I want to develop so I will say I can search ABAP object I can create ABAP object so let me create a new ABAP object and I will go with ABAP program yes and I will give the program name Z Anubhav Bass enter and I'll say welcome to multi cloud and I press enter and that should now create a new about program Wow it is also locating this on the left side and then you can just start writing your code you get nice code completion here yes exactly you can say select start from SMW DPPA into table data I tab yes and you can say loop at and you see that you there you go loop at ITAB reference into data hello object and then you get basically the basic code completion out there with respect to the object hello object and then you can see all the code completion you get it nicely over here and then you on the top right corner you see this activate button yeah unfortunately I could not find an option to um, to run this here but yeah at least you are able to write the code view the code and if there is any error as I've intentionally missed this period it is also showing you here you can also click on this error and say um, you wanted to peak definition or references or or my document a lot of these options are available not very mature tool yes not really really very mature tool but yeah this gives us some idea that if SAP enables a plugin into the BAS to fully integrate with the BAS perhaps in future we can use one single tool which is BAS going forward for all sorts of development and that's when it become a true multi-cloud development tool and a boon for most of developers web developers like me so now uh, that's it for this session so if you go back to business application studio where I have an instance running and try to look at the same plugin here you may not find that plugin I'm not sure why it's not coming but at the moment I did not find the same 
into the business application studio however I've seen some companies building the class custom plugins they're investing into it to just enable the same from the bad side but yeah that's something which we would expect if SAP can come up with and that's when it will truly become a multi cloud development tool so I hope you enjoyed this video on answering the question can I do development on ABAP with bass today as of now not but yes using VS code you can see a quick preview of how the future would look like just give a try for it try yourself experience it and maybe once we hear from SAP in future something must be cooking out there let's see and then perhaps we would also be uh, able to utilize it directly from SAP side with that Anubhav signing out thank you so much for watching this interesting video and I'll see you in my next session